Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Anwan Photo Raw 2021 and I'm having to play around with some presets. Now that's not something I do a lot of simply because I just like to have control over my photo. I like to just kind of go in and do what I want to do and generally, especially if I know the app pretty well, I kind of know how to do what I want to do and I know how to get there and presets aren't always going to get me there exactly. So one of the great things about presets though is that they can give you a creative starting point if you don't have a particular plan in mind with the photo, which is often how I use them in you know, really any product that has presets. Now, in On One, I have, I've been experimenting with this app a lot as I consider it a, a potential replacement for Lightroom for me, and I'm working through it, and I thought I just kind of was playing around with presets. I thought I would take a look, and honestly, I got really into it. Um, I was a little bit surprised, to be honest, but I, I learned a few things. I started playing around, and I was like, you know what? This is pretty cool, so let's get into it. Um, I was playing with this photo of Big Ben, and I've been fortunate enough to go to London many times. I've taken a shot like this or, you know, of Big Ben from different angles or whatever many times. So I've got a lot of them. So, you know, sometimes you're just like, eh, I don't really feel like editing a photo of something that you've shot so many times. That's where presets really came into play for me in this one because it was giving me ideas I would not have had on my own, which is what I like about them. So as I was expo blah, 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 experimenting with these presets, I thought, you know, that'd be kind of a fun video. So let me uh, start out. So presets are on the left-hand side here. That is, of course, if you've clicked this little button in the bottom left, it looks like that. And there it is to open up the preset window. I'm gonna start with this black and white alternative. Um, I, you know, I do some black and white, not a ton, but they have some really cool stuff in them. I'm gonna click on this one, which is number 12. And you know, that's not my typical look. I mean, I do some monochromes, but I really don't dig the grain and things like that, but that's okay. That's what's so great about this is you can of course go in and make adjustments to it. So I could go into this black and white tool. I could go into film grain and you can see it's at 100. I could just pull this down and I could pull down the size as well. And all of a sudden, that's a lot more like the way I like my photos to look. I don't like so much grain. So, you know, you have the ability to go in and customize and really craft the preset to look the way you want it to look. And of course, you can save those as your own presets. I'll show you that here in a moment. I'm kind of touring some of these categories. Another category I like so far is this black and white modern. I think that's pretty cool. There's some nice looking presets in here like that one. That's just beautiful and classy. Here's the thing. Of course, you can adjust them, right? So this one has tone enhancer and black and white. I might go into tone enhancer and maybe lift those shadows just a little bit because it seems a little bit dark to me. Maybe lift the blacks a little bit as well just to get a little bit more visibility. Maybe pull down the highlights. So again, I've just slightly adjusted it, but really suits my taste. I love shots like that of cities at night in black and white. I think they look so cool. Lots of cool presets in this category as well. And one of the nice things about on one, there's something like 200 presets across all these categories. So there's tons of stuff, just tons and tons. If you're done with it and don't want to use that, you can just hit reset to remove that and it'll go back to your photo the way it was. Now I have previously straightened and slightly cropped this photo and removed some spots. So I'm hitting reset. If I hit reset all, it's going to take me all the way back. I don't want to do that because I want the spots out and I probably missed some, but keep that in mind if you're playing around with presets and you've made edits prior to uh, adding the preset. Another category that's cool is this color film. And you can just see, I mean, there are just so many different options in here. Uh, this one I think looks pretty awesome, pretty classy, pretty uh, pretty standard, but you know, a lot of nice options here. You can also fave them if you want to. There's a little heart up there. You can just click that heart uh, to fave and then click it again to unfave if you'd like to. Now this color twist category is something I've been having a lot of fun with. Let me hit reset to get rid of that last preset. There are some really cool presets in here, but again, I'm a fan of color. If you've been here before, you kind of know that. So this color twist eight, I think is super cool. That's basically, uh, there's, a, there's a look, a style that you might see on Instagram and other places, it's pretty popular, called orange and teal. This is basically an orange and teal look, which personally, blue hour in a city, it looks pretty awesome, I think. So that's it. It's done with the channel mixer. But of course, as I said, you can come in and edit. So if you wanted to make a few little changes here, maybe you want a little bit more pink in that sky, drag that red slight amount, whatever. And so if I want to save this preset, I just click up here and click on save preset. I've got a category here. I'm going to name personal and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to add that. I'm going to insert this preset name, London Orange 
and teal and just hit save. Now that is saved and I, if I have multiple photos from this same outing and I wanted to keep that look consistent across them, I could just go do that. I could back out of color twist. I could go down here to personal and here's my London orange and teal. If I click it and apply it, it's the same thing as what you've already seen because I had already made that adjustment. Here's another one from Color Twist, Color Twist 12, which is also kind of that orange and teal look, but it's a little bit more green. Um, so here's another thing you can do with their presets, of course, is reduce the opacity. So maybe you like it, but you don't like it at 100, but you like it maybe at 75. You can just drag that down and get a little bit less of that in the photo. Maybe you want to go to 65. You have that ability as well to just adjust that opacity if you want to. If for some reason at 100 you decide it's too much, just go fix the opacity, pull it down, season the taste. Okay, another category I'm having fun with is this instant film. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to get this instant film 5. And you can see a lot of these have borders. And that's another nice thing about On One is they have a borders filter. You can come in and apply borders. I really like the look of how this is, but for me, the border is a little too big. So you can come in here and you can just go down to transform and you can just pull this back to shrink the size of that border, make that a little bit thinner, get a little bit more of that photo showing as opposed to the border. Or of course, if you want a thicker border, go the other way. But you have that ability to come in and adjust those things as well. So even if there are very specific minor things about a preset that you don't like, you have the ability to go in and adjust them, fix them, that sort of thing. This Instant Film 6 is pretty cool. I'm gonna stick that on there. I'm gonna do the same thing with the border. It's just too big for me. I like a little bit thinner border, but you know, again, season to taste. I'm gonna do something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, you can see that there's an antique and a bleach bypass. And so you can also always turn off these individual filters. Antique had a huge impact on the photo. Let's check out bleach bypass. There it is without it, and there it is with it. I kind of don't like bleach bypass on this photo. You can just click X to remove it and it's gone. So now this preset has been customized and it's just antique and borders. But you know, as is uh, often the case, I wanna go in and adjust things. I wanna pull this film green down. Uh, as I said a moment ago, it's not something I really like. So I'm gonna drop that quite a bit and maybe I add a little bit of fade to the photo, something like that. And maybe I want a little bit of saturation just because I like it. Again, I've customized and I could go in, of course, and click save, choose my personal category, name this, save it, and have it there for future reference. There's quite a few cool categories. This Golden Autumn has a lot of nice presets in it as well. I'm not gonna dive into a bunch of these. Um, I think this Retro category is pretty cool. I mean, these are just kind of fun. You can see like this Retro 12. I really like this look in this photo. It's got a light leak. You can kind of see the stuff that they've done here. Pretty cool overall. It may not be your look, but that's fine. But that's what I was talking about is for me, presets give me a great idea of a creative direction to go when I may not have one of my own simply because, you know, I, I feel like I've edited and shared a whole lot of Big Ben photos over the year. I'm looking for a different take on it. Presets like this help me get there quickly. Now, you may not like all these, and that's fine, but again, as you know, um, you've got all kinds of ability to customize them, but they've got some pretty cool looks built in, and they take advantage of all the textures, light leaks, things like that that they have here and on one that give you that uh, different kind of creative outputs. Sun Glow here at the very bottom has some really cool um, options as well. If I click on these, you can kind of see those, and I wanna, I wanna point this out because this is something that um, will come into play in a moment, and that is every time you click on a preset, it overwrites whatever edits you've done. So whatever the preset is, is gonna be applied here. And if I go from that preset, you can see it's curves, dynamic contrast, and sun flare. If I click on this next preset, it's gonna overwrite those, and it's gonna add these other components of this different preset. And so just be careful if you're making edits and then add a preset, there's a way around that, and I'll show you that in a second, where you can actually stack presets or add a preset on top of your previous edits. I'll do that in a minute, but here in this category of Sun Glow, I mean, they've just got these really cool light leaks. They got these kind of bokeh balls, I call them, um, things like that. So you can just see there's lots of different options here. And again, if the sun flare is just way too much, you can just pull that down, reduce that intensity, and have just a little bit of it if you want to powerful, fun, you know, lots of different things you can do. Let me show you what I'm talking about, about stacking presets, because that's something I've done in the past uh, in other apps where I might add one preset on the base layer and then add a new adjustment layer and then stick another preset on there. But you don't really do it that way in on one. You can actually just insert a preset on top of another one. So I'm going to start with Color Twist. I'm going to go back to this Color Twist 8 that I like quite a bit. And then what I want to do is I want to go into this other category of Snowy Landscape. 
and snowy landscape, if I just click on this first one, it's going to overwrite that uh, previous preset, right? So I'm going to hit Command Z to undo that and go back. There is a way to stick uh, this snowy landscape preset on top of that color twist. But the first thing I want to show you is um, if you hover over the, or if you look at these, they show you uh, the preview up here in this upper left window, right? But if you hold down the option key, the view will change to the preset that you're looking at on top of whatever edits you've already done. So in other words, it's giving me a preview in that SL1 up here in this left corner. It's giving me a preview of what my original preset, the color twist, looks like with the snowy landscape on top. So just keep that in mind. You can hold down Option. I think that will be an Alt key for Windows, but you can do that. Uh, so you can also fade this out if you want less intensity, as you can see. But here's how you stack a preset. So I've got that preset on, which is a color twist. And if I just right click, I can insert preset. So remember, the color twist preset has channel mixer. And if I insert this preset, it's just gonna take the filters and stick them on top of the stack. So I've got channel mixer, and then it just basically added the filters from this other preset, textures, weather, LUTs, and curves. So I was able to stack this snowy look on top of that orange and teal look. If I turn this off, that's the preset, or excuse me, that's the single filter that's in the orange and teal preset. If I turn that off, that's what snowy landscape one would look like. But I wanted the orange and teal with the snow. I was able to do that by just right-clicking and inserting presets. So keep that in mind. That's a quick and easy way to stack presets. And it gives you the ability to put multiple looks together to create your own custom outcome like I did here. It's fun. It's powerful. There's so much you can do. I'm having a lot of fun with On One. It's really an amazing product. There's so many things in here, and I'm continuing to explore it. Such great masking. The presets are fun. There's great tools and filters. It's just, uh, it's just a good product. So I'm having fun with it. I hope you're enjoying the videos. I'll keep doing more. I'll be back soon with more, my friends. I appreciate it. You guys take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one. Have fun editing and adios.